my intention was that after we arrived yesterday, I would uh, settle in, do the campfire with the family, and then uh, do astrophotography. And it's a nice open place here. It's out in the country. It's pretty dark, and it just didn't happen because <laughs> I spent all day packing and vlogging for my other channel, the Tin Soup for Two, and then, uh, <laughs> which by the way, in case uh, you weren't sure, this channel is not going to stop. I am not changing this channel in any way. It's still going to be me wandering around outside taking pictures. So <laughs> these seagulls really like this uh, grass back here. They're all over. Every time I walk close though, they, uh, they take off. So we got in and then we had some issues with the trailer. It's, uh, you know, one little thing, one little setting on your camera that you accidentally, oh, there's a pond, yes, uh, that you accidentally miss a setting and the whole thing is messed up. Well, it's the same with the trailer. <laughs> if you accidentally do something wrong, nothing works right. So. Anyway, we got it fixed, but by the time we got it fixed, it was like, shower, sit down, have some food, and then I was ready for sleep. <laughs> so, we are here for a bit, and I'm hoping that astrophotography will still happen, but until then, we've got a beautiful morning, which I don't think is so bad. I love getting up early because nobody's awake. sit here on the picnic table and just take pictures. ISO 400, F4.5, 1 250th of a second. And this video battery is about to die. It said full. I raced back to the car to get a new battery and my entire backpack because there's so many beautiful photo opportunities there. I have to hurry because the sun is quickly rising above the uh, tree line behind the pond and I'm going to lose that beautiful soft light. It's about 7.30 in the morning and the sun rose about almost two hours ago. Okay, almost back. did something really silly in my rush to get the batteries and I grabbed my whole bag. I forgot the quick release plate for my tripod. So uh, <laughs> I can't use it. However, I can use it as a rest because I have this bean bag and I can place it on top and then rest my camera here, which does help. Okay. <laughs> So, a few more things that I've just noticed. There is this amazing uh, patch of lily pads with actual flowers on them. So I have to get some close-ups of those. They're amazing. But first, I've gone on the 16 to 35. I just want to see what I can get uh, in the <laughs> pond, the reflections. They're just gorgeous. So 
so handheld I have on the graduated neutral density filter now with this view because there's a sharp line right across the middle it doesn't have to be a graduated neutral density filter it can be a hard grad but I don't have one of those I have a soft grad so I'm gonna try pulling the picnic table over. No, it's not tall enough for the composition I was looking at, but that's okay. I'm going to put the 70 to 300 back on and I am gonna concentrate on those reflections because they're absolutely beautiful and they're so Canadian Canada has so many beautiful lakes at least Ontario has so many beautiful lakes that are like glass and you'll get these gorgeous gorgeous northern trees and and uh, foliage and it just reflects in the water it's amazing okay no polarizer I want the reflection I love the reeds and the trees beside it reflecting. So ISO 100 minus 0 0.5 of an exposure value and f 5.6 giving me one two hundredth of a second. However, I'm going to play with that exposure value because if it is overexposed, I'm going to lose detail in the lighter parts of the image and I don't want that. So I'm going to play with anywhere from zero to minus two of my exposure value and then I can blend also in Photoshop. But it's just stunning. <laughs> Let me show you. I've been fascinated. I'm just standing here taking video of the fish in the pond. Just uh, tiny fish uh, swimming around. Uh, minnows, I don't know what they are. <laughs> they look bigger than minnows, but um, just gorgeous. It's fascinating. I love it. <sighs> it's a perfect morning. You know, it's always worth coming out. It was a really big, <laughs> big hassle getting everything set up for camp today uh, for yesterday for today and uh, but it was worth it it's uh, it's a gorgeous morning I'm sitting in the shade there's a beautiful breeze we are in a heat wave and so this afternoon we're just going to spend our time swimming and <sighs> gorgeous uh, if you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, I really, really love having you guys come along with me. 
and I hope that you're having a fantastic day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.